And welcome to the home of the Buckos since 2001, PNC Park in Pittsburgh. Tonight, we wrap up this three-game series between the New York Mets and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Two great hitters lead their teams to battle next on MLB Network. Garrett Cole is the man on the mound for the Pirates in this contest. Harold, any thoughts? As I look at this ball game today, one thing to keep an eye on is his at-bats against the right-handers, his approach against right-handed hitters, because right-handed hitters are hitting under 250 against him, and those are the guys that he's going to have to exploit if he wants to win this ball game. Here's Neil Walker. He went deep in the contest last night. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Hit sharply on the ground. Gosselin fields it cleanly. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, Matt, I can't wait to see if La Potencia, Joanna Cespedes, can keep it going. He's coming off a month where he had double-digit totals in home runs. If you're looking at one category and you like the long ball, this is the guy to watch. One of the best power threats in the game right now. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. Harold, we look at this Pirates ball club as they enter play here tonight. They suffered a bit of a setback last time out, but not to worry. They're still 6 and 2 over their previous eight ball games. Well, Matt, they're playing good ball. If you look at the standings, they got a nice, comfortable lead, but comfortable can be. It can be trouble. You got to stay third. focused, keep your, your foot on the pedal, 52. and just continue to put Yohannes that opponent away because Cespedes. this little lead can dwindle quick. At the plate, Yoannis Cespedes. And he enters play today, currently fifth in the National League batting race. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two out walk. The hitter was dug in looking for something to hit, but he would have needed a telephone pole to hit that thing way out of the zone. Here's the center fielder, Curtis Granderson. It was a three-hit effort from him last night, so he was a big part of that victory. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Now a check swing, but that's in there for strike three anyway, and the inning is over. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Now the Pirates will get their first opportunity. No score. Robert Gesellman gets the ball in game three of the series. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, Matt, last outing, he only pitched four innings. So I know he was disappointed, as was their coaching staff. They're hoping he can get to the fifth, maybe even the sixth inning. He does that, it allows their bullpen a little more length and gives them a chance to win. So that's what we're looking for in this game. Now a moment here at PNC to take a look at the Pirates lineup card in this one. What's the key to sending fans home smiling tonight, Harold? Well, this is the new model of teams that we see. The strikeout doesn't matter. They're in the top third in the league in strikeouts, so we're going to see a lot of swings and misses today. But if they catch one, look out. Lifted into center field. Granderson is under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Batting third. third. Now to the plate, Jung Ho Gong. And he really Gong. thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. In there, one and two now. That curveball just frozen. That's one of those big curveballs you're expecting to go start at you like this one did and break all the way down the bottom of the plate. But this one didn't get that big break away, and it froze it. He's got him on the ropes at two and two, but I don't think he'll try to get him out with another curveball. He's seen it already a couple of times, so it's not going to surprise him anymore. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. And what a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories.
And the pitch on two and one. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Well, he's really struggled. I mean, over for the series, but the confidence they have in him, he's still in the lineup. Let's see if he can break out right here. All even at two and two. Here it is. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Danger averted following the two-out double. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Here's Jay Bruce now. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach Back's towards up. that Going opposite two. field gap. Misses, ball two. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Oh, he's going to want that pitch again. That ball's right down the middle in his wheelhouse. His eyes lit up. He just didn't let it travel deep enough or he could square it and keep it fair. And here's a ball hit in the air. Cervelli has a play. One down. All right, time for majestic defensive alignment After for the Pirates. Travis and yes, Darno. they are moving all over the field. They love to shift heavily into the analytics, and they really move players around playing the percentages. You'll see that a lot in this game today. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. The average for him entering play, not far north of 200. There's a swing and a high, deep drive headed for the right field corner. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second Nine out. Seven. Into the box now, David Wright. And David as you can tell easily Wright. from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. David no contact there, and it's one and two. One and two. No score here as we play inning number two. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Mets. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Now at the plate, Josh Harrison. As we take a look at the splits between April and May. Uh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. After that swing, you just got to reset yourself. You still have a strike to work with, and you, you can't be thinking about how silly you just looked on that last pitch. Got him. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking down there at the There's catcher, eight Travis eight Darno. The thing about Travis, not eight a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Ready to deliver the one and two. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. The pitch. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Now at the plate, Phil Gosselin. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Off speed pitch, and this one runs in and nearly gets him here. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. And now pitch on the way. Grounder down the line at third. And that finds its way through for a base hit. The throw into second. And he will hasten his way back to first where he's in there safely. So the base hit here nets him a base runner with two away as we check out the league leaders in team batting average here in May. And you can see that the Pirates are currently tops in the NL in that category. Striding into the box, Francisco Cervelli. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike.
Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Stepping up to the plate, Rene Rivera. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. And a slider runs away from him there and the count levels at two and two. So tough to lay off that pitch he just missed on. That's a sweeping slider. You got two strikes on you. That ball just continues to move and he laid off it. And this will miss down low in the dirt. So he's worked it full now at three and two. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. Well, he saw that ball pretty good. Too bad he couldn't keep it fair. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Polanco ranging back. He's there and records the first out. And with that, we give you a look here at what's happening in the race in the National League Central. Digging in, Robert Gesellman. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Big tilt on the slider gets a swing and a miss. Well, he doubled up on that slider, so that tells me he's really feeling it at this point in the game. Good chance we'll see a heavy dose of that slider as this start continues. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Robert Gesellman goes down for out number two in the top half. Walker. Striding in once again, Neil Walker. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Hey, they haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Ready for another chance as Dribble Cabrera. 0 for 1 here in the early going. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a called strike two. He's set, and the 1 2 pitch. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to 2 and 2. And a half hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Mets leave one. Home half of the third coming up. No score. So striding forward now, Garrett Cole, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Behind a changeup, if you can imagine, for a strike. That's the perfect pitch after you've just brushed a guy back. The hitter probably isn't sitting up there thinking you're going to flip something soft up there. Swing and a miss as he starts the third, the same way he ended the second with a punch out, fielder, one away. Darling, now here it comes. A swing and a miss at the good old Uncle Charlie. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he is in complete control now. Seven strikeouts as this is swung on and missed for the second out. The Digging in now, Gregory Polanco. Gregory he flew out Polanco. in his last at bat. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Cespedes is after it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Down in order go the Pirates. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. He'll lead things off against Garrett Cole. Good waste pitch, one and two. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Yoenis Cespedes becomes the first out of the inning. Curtis Granderson. It is Curtis Granderson. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And a fastball just a bit up. This is one of those rare hitters counts we've seen in this game. They're just having a difficult time getting it going. A take nope, there by it. Granderson as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Now at the plate, Jay Bruce. Right, He's 0 for 19. 1 thus far. Jay Bruce.
Over to first, Cole, and a dive, but he's back in. Ready with the one and one. The fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. That was an interesting pitch, Matt. Look, we're in a double play situation, and everybody knows he's got that hard sinker. Get that ground ball, maybe get a double play. But he didn't throw it. He just threw a fastball. I don't know what he's doing right now, but he got it in there for a strike. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. That's a hit, the first of the game for the Mets. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. Well, Matt, they scored a lot of runs yesterday, and they're just now scoring today. Now, but it's always Captain. who are you facing that Travis. particular day. No, the good pitching is the momentum stopper, and that's what we've seen so far today. Standing in now. Travis Darno and he misses there one and two I have no issue wasting a pitch on 0 and two to try to get a guy to go fishing but it has to be somewhat tempting you're not going to get anyone to swing at a bat at that pitch so he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking the ball base, Travis Darno sent packing for the second out of the inning he's set here comes the one one chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. And this might be the kind of A-B that gets him out of that slump. Smart hitting here. Just going with the pitch. Using the whole field instead of trying to do too much. The results speak for themselves. In now, Rene Rivera. Ooh, right on, but this is foul down toward the box at third. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Hit on the ground to short. Harrison has it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Mets one, and the Pirates nothing. And that'll bring up the versatile Jung Ho Gung. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. And the fastball easy to lay off that time two and two. Into the windup here comes the two two pitch. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Oh, he saw that change up really nice. He just wasn't able to keep it fair. Hard on the ground towards short. That's through for a base hit. He's now two for two in this one. With that, the Buckos have their leadoff man aboard to kick off the inning. The batter, right fielder. Andrew Here's Andrew McCutcheon, McCutcheon now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the one and one pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. The batter number five. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Josh Harrison. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. He'll try again, 1 2. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Again, a 1 2. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. This guy's a good hitter. He's seen a lot of pitches already, fouling balls off. But as the pitcher, I got to keep throwing him strikes. And if he hits it, hopefully it's at somebody. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Softly on a line to third. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. The throw to third. 
And he is in there. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. Yeah, I think he was sitting on the fastball, so he got the changeup. He was way out in front of it, but he kept his hands back long enough to keep it fair down the line. That's not always easy to do. Into the box, John Jaso. Pretty well hit deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats. Foul. Now a foul tip, but it's held onto behind the plate, and that'll go down as a very important out number two. Stepping number in, 15, Phil Gosselin, as he's got a chance Phil. to tie this ball game up Gosselin. with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. No runs, four hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. And here's a ball hit in the air. Rivera is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Pirates strand a couple. They trail this one one to nothing. Digging in to try it again. Robert Gesellman comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Hit out towards second. A dive. He's got it. He goes to first. Touche, sir. The batter. Second base. So an excellent play at second Neil base for a Walker. team that's done well defensively all year as we take a look at the league leaderboard in terms of team fielding percentage. And you can see there that they're currently residing in second place in the NL in that category. Ready once again, Neil Walker. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Breaking ball taken right down the middle. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. Snatched out of midair at first base for route number two. The shortstop, number 13, as Drupal Cabrera. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Curveball that time, not even close. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. And Marte will make the grab, and that ends the inning. Mets go down one, two, three, but they hold a one nothing lead. Here's the catcher, Francisco Cervelli. He'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some now point as well. Catcher. Garrett. Standing in, Cole. Garrett Cole. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Swing and a miss on the cut fastball. One and two. One ball, two strikes. Attempt. Ready to deliver the one and two. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Here's Starling Marte. He's gone down on Center strikes field, twice six. already in this one. And Dan, Starling when you know you have a chance Marte. to hand someone a hat trick for the game, is there any extra motivation to punch him out again? Hey, there's no doubt about that, Matt. When you have a good hitter like this and you've punched him out twice already, you just want to continue to go out there and make good pitches and see if you can't Gregory dominate him Polanco. for a third time. Digging in once again, Gregory Polanco. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point, and he just manages to get his hand in. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Curveball that time, not even close. Two 
Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Pitch misses the throw. To and he is out at second. Caught Steve. Ready for another chance. Yoannis Cespedes comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Hit hard but foul. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. And that's a fair ball heading out toward the 320 sign in right. And the Mets have something going with nobody out. It's a leadoff double. Yeah, he's going to have to start making some good pitches to get out of this thing. Job number one is to get the next guy and ID. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. McCutcheon looking up. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. A two-run home run for Curtis Granderson. Number 302 career. And the Mets have taken a three-to-nothing lead. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. Into the box now, Jay Bruce. Zero. On that fastball's too much for him there, one and two. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Here's the pitch. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He started out the evening catcher, 0 for 2 so Travis far. Darno. Pitches away, but it's swung on and grounded to second. Throw gets him two down. The third baseman, number five. Trying to pick things up where he left off. David Wright, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. Drilled to the left side. And Wright's going to have himself a base hit. So the two-out base hit in the top of the inning is still alive. He's got to feel good about himself. A multi-hit game. First he knows he's been struggling. 44. We know he's been struggling. Rene Maybe this Rivera. is the start of good things to come. Now it looks like a right-hander's up and throwing in the Pittsburgh bullpen. Standing in now, Rene Rivera. But well, this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. But the Mets do strike for two, both coming on this two-run home run. Bottom of the sixth coming up. It's 3-0 New York. Here's Gregory Polanco. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. A shot down the first baseline. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Third baseman, number 16. Jung Ho Gong. Striding in once again. Jung Ho Gong. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. Now he lifts a high pop up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Now batting. A couple Mike lefties Fielder. start to get loose Andrew now in the bullpen. McCutcheon. Hit hard towards center. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. Great job there of cashing in on the three and one count to extend the inning. This is what the good hitters do. 3-1 count. He gets a base Gosh. hit, and he continues Harrison. to just add to that batting average. Josh Harrison stands in. 
One for two with a double on his line thus far. Full count. Here it comes. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Robert Gesellman. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Your Daniel Hudson plate. comes on now, now and he'll take over with nobody out in number inning number 41. 7. Daniel Hudson. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Eight. Leaves a change up high for a strike. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Digging in once again, Neil Walker. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. And this is going to be a foul ball. Three runs, five hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. There to make the play is Polanco, and there are two away now. The Digging in the switch hitter as Rubel Cabrera, career line against Daniel Hudson, hitless in three at bats. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two out base runner. Digging in and looking for more, Joannis Cespedes. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Ooh, that's one he wants back right now. Man, it looked like his timing was perfect. He just didn't barrel it up. And that's in there. Base hit. And he'll make it up safely to third. So they're at the corners now with two men out. He absolutely smoked that ball right there. The three. infielder was ducking Curtis to get out of the Granderson. way of it. Curtis Granderson will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow. A two-run home run that really got his guys going. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Two left for the Mets. The they lead it three to nothing. Stretch. Here's John Jason now. He struck out twice thus far, so we'll see if he can fare any better here. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Granderson ranging back. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Now batting. Ready Second once baseman. again. Phil Gosselin. Phil. One for two Gosselin. on his line so far in the game. Not a good looking 3 0 hack there. He misses it for strike one. Real nice curveball there. Had a lot of late break and he waved right through that one. Down the third baseline. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Tell you what, his spot has been the outside pitch right there. And now we're late in the game. He continues to pound the outside pitch. And it's really working out for him. Takes this the other way to right. But he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the Catcher. second out. And it looks now like a right-hander has begun to get loose in the Mets' bullpen. Grounded down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. And he's got another one here. Twelve punch outs now in the ball game. And Here's Jay Bruce now. Career line against Daniel Hudson. Just a one for 12 career line. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Here's the one and two. And low and inside with a fastball as he's got a hot footed out of there. Hit sharply on the ground. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Matt, did you see where they were playing him? They're playing him in the shift, and he just did not now care. Batting. If he hit the ball Catcher. hard, I guess that's his Rabbit. philosophy. It was going to get through anyway, and we saw it right there. Base hit into the shift. A runner at first with no outs here. Stepping in now, Travis Darno. 
over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Oh, I know he'd like to see that pitch again. Just out in front of it, just wasn't able to keep it fair, but he saw it pretty good. Softly hit out towards short. There's one on to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. The third base Action in the bullpen five. now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Working for the punch out and the offering. Squared that one up just a little late. Ready with the payoff pitch. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. The next three, two. Another one sent foul. He's just fouling them off till he gets something he wants to hit. Another payoff pitch. And this is taken here for ball four. Just the second walk he's allowed into his eighth inning of work. First baseman number four. Ready for another shot now. Rene Rivera, Rivera, career line against Daniel Hudson. He's gone two for five. Sliced hard but foul. Look out over there. From the stretch. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. One Lagares. We'll get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Two down runners at first and second. One Lagares. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. And now Harrison will look this one in to retire the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Mets three, and the Pirates nothing. Jerry Blevins. Is on to now pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half Number of the eighth. Jerry David Freeze will try and get his club David. back into it here as he'll pinch it to lead off the home half of the eighth. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Here's Starling Marte. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Starling, here's the one-one. Back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one-out hit. Well, it looks like just a ground ball base hit in the box scores, but man, that ball is hit hard up the middle. He's gonna do well for himself. He stays consistent and keeps that approach. In now, Gregory Polanco. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Line drive to center field. And that'll get down in front of Granderson for a base hit. Hey, that's a base hit right there. Now they got two runners on. This may be their best opportunity to get on the Third board. They've been shut out 16. the whole game. Jung Ho, gone. And that'll bring up the versatile Jung Ho Gung. Two for three with a double on his line so far. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. A swing and a miss at the big curveball. Oh man, he took a swing and a half at that one. I think some frustration is creeping into these guys, so he might have just been trying to get his guys on the board with one swing. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. Now that's a nice pitch. He ran that in there about mid-90s and put it past him. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Granderson is under it. And that ends the inning. Pirates strand a couple. Still down 3-0. Juan Nicasio enters from the pen now to start the, the ninth Pirates. inning as he'll try to Number keep 12. the score right where it is One. heading to the bottom Nicasio. of the ninth. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And that is off the wall in right field. 
And the Mets have something going with nobody out. It's a leadoff double. Well, back in the day, you would hope your leadoff man can work a walk or leg out an infield single, but not in today's game. Now they expect the leadoff hitter to have a little pop, just like this guy. Nice leadoff double. Lifted the other way out to left center. Polanco will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. His lifetime line against Nicasio. Over five. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Walker rounds third and is digging for the plate. And the run will come across to score from second, and they open it up to 4 nothing now. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance, and he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Into the box now, Curtis Granderson. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Lifted in the air out towards left center. On the move is Polanco. He makes the catch, and tagging is the runner from second. Cespedes is on his way home. And not in time as the run scores. Now batting. Standing Hi, in, Jay Bruce. Jay on the night, Bruce. he's two for four with a pair of singles. And here's a ball hit in the air. Gong into shallow left. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. They get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. Josh Harrison stands in. And Dan, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Oh, and meanwhile, this pitch rides too far in and winds up hitting him. Stepping into the box, John Jaso. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. And this is fouled back and out of play. The 1 2 pitch. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Digging in to try it again. Phil well, Gosselin hit the ball pretty Second well in his last at bat, but it Phil resulted in a line out. Gosselin. Here's the pitch on two and two. Here's a ball hit foul down the third baseline, so they'll try it again. Here's another two two. And a fastball blew it right by him, and they're two down. Stepping up to the plate, Francisco Cervelli. He Francisco. comes to the plate as the last Cervelli. chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And he'll check his swing here. Did he go around? Yes, and the ball game is over. A 5-0 finish tonight. Robert Gesellman earns his first win of the season, striking out 12 in the process. Josh Edgen records four outs on his way to the save, his first of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Good night, everybody. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Five runs on nine hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Pirates, no runs. Eight hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 54 minutes. A reminder that extra tea service to the South Hills is available across the bridge at either the Wood Street or Gateway Center Station. 33X West Busway buses are also available with service to Carnegie, Bell, Crafton, and Sheridan stations. Also, return trips to Station Square on the Gateway Clipper fleet are available outside the stadium for one half hour after the final pitch.
Happy Friday, baseball fans. Welcome to Inside the Show. Looking first at the NL East, the Metropolitans knocked out 12 hits as a team as they got the best of the Brewers at home, 4-3. to three. Right now, the Mets sit in second place in the National League East division, and the Brewers are in last place in the NL Central. The Los Angeles Dodgers earned the four-game series sweep as they beat the Cardinals on the road, 1 to nothing. They are on a roll with eight straight victories. As of today, the Cardinals are in fourth place in the NL Central, while the Dodgers are atop the NL West. The Marlins sent three balls into the seats as they took down the visiting Diamondbacks 7-3. In other Marlins news, relief pitcher David Phelps will be out of action for a few days according to team report. And good evening to those of you just joining us on the show. You've chosen to tune in at a great time. Jung Ho Gong may be looking to go deep here as he and his team trail by one here in the ninth. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. He swung so hard. I don't know how he stayed on his feet or kept his helmet on. I'm surprised he didn't fall down. He swung so hard. What a big swing. Inside with the slider and that'll back him up a bit. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. And now this crowd a bit over 30,000 strong comes to their feet. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Well, he got a piece of that breaking ball right there. That's the second one he's seen in a row now, and he fouled that one off. Let's see if he comes back with a third three in a row. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. And everyone on the team could finally breathe a little bit easier tonight. They finally snapped that eight-game losing skit. Hopefully, they can get on a roll now. This evening's game comes to an end. Hi, I'm Justin Allegri, and this is your Wednesday edition of Inside the Show. In the National League Central,